it's mixed in. <laughs> mixed in. Yeah. Oh, obviously, you know, he's a great young player and he hasn't played his best football yet. He's just learning more and more about the game. He plays a pivotal role in our forward line. He has the flexibility to go back. Good person, solid character. Yeah, good to keep him. Is, is, it, a, is it almost um, the sums up the, where the team is at the moment that two years ago, three years ago, re-signings were difficult and you had, maybe you had to pay overs, but almost all of these re-signings you're doing this year have just been so easy. The players, there's almost been no expectation that they were even looking anywhere else. Yeah, it's probably gotten, I, I can't speak for the time when I wasn't here, I've only been here for two and a half years, so uh, it hasn't been too bad in that period of time. Um, uh, but obviously, you know, the more the boys feel like there's going to be success at the club at some point in stage, that at some point in time, uh, the more they're inclined to stay to some degree. But also, you know, all the, all the staff here, everyone has worked really hard to make this club a good place to be, a place where you come to improve as a person and as a footballer. So uh, that helps too, and that process has been going on for a while. Are you... Uh Disappointed you're not going to be have, having Harris for the trip down to... No, I'm actually quite excited, to tell you the truth. Um, that sounds like a weird answer, but Harris pointed out to me the other night he's missed six games over the last 18 months and five of them we've won, so it's actually a good sign <laughs> for us. Um, no, but I, look, you know, I know I'm, I'm sort of joking. That is a, a true fact, but, but the thing is... You're going to have pl good players out from time to time. We had it a few weeks ago against Port Adelaide where we didn't have Hodge, we didn't have McCluggage, we didn't have Hickwood, but we were able to go over there and everybody played their role and we were able to come away with a good result. So this week is no different. You know, We've got our, our number one tall defender out, but Josh Walker will come into the side and play that role. And he's been playing that role really well at different times over the last couple of years and he's no doubt looking forward to his opportunity. Sounds like you almost like it as fodder to give the team that they can win without certain players. Oh no, I think it's all part of building a great side because you're always at different stages over the over the course of a journey you face adversity. You know, you, you have injuries or illness or or something happens that you lose a few players. You've got to be able to adapt and, and adjust and you know, the opportunity to do that is a is a, is a good way to build resilience. So you've got to embrace that when it comes along. I know you always aim for success, but has this team surprised you that Sitting second right now. Oh, I've, I've sort of, we've always aimed to improve and we've never sort of put any limits on ourselves. So uh, um, I'm not surprised we've improved. Uh, would I have thought we'd been second on the ladder? No, probably not, you know, but, but still, it's sort of a week to week thing for you. And you just try and go out there and do your best each week and, and get a few wins, and you never know where you might end up. So uh, you know, our boys are optimistic, they, they set high standards. Uh, I'm pleased for them. That's where we sit at the moment, but there's five weeks to go and the ladder's pretty tight, so anything could happen. You win this game mathematically, you're guaranteed final, so can we ask that question? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. uh, ask me the question after the game. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know whether we're going to win or lose, so, yeah. You, you said after the game last week that um, you were concerned that there might be a letdown after a, a couple of big weeks in a row, you've had five wins in a row now. Mm. Is that still a concern or have the boys got over that? Oh, it's, it's always a concern, although I, I felt, felt like we were much fresher training today. But we need to be because we're probably playing the most informed team in the competition at the moment. When you, when you look at who Hawthorne's played the last few weeks and beaten, they've beaten Geelong, they've beaten Collingwood, they went down by a goal to uh, West Coast. And uh, so their form's as good as anyone. And, uh, you know, the three, three of the teams I mentioned there are sort of up there with flag favouritism along with Richmond. So, and then we're going down there to play them at Launceston, which is, we all know is one of the toughest road trips. Um, they've won their three games there this year. So uh, we, need to go, we need to be at our very, very best um, um, to be competitive and strong against them. And that's what we aim to bring, but uh, it's going to be uh, a, a tough game. You've normally been the team this year that's breaking the hoodoos and breaking the long streaks against other teams. It's almost on the other way around this time. You've won three in a row against Hawthorne. What do you think that does for, for Alistair Clarkson and Hawthorne, knowing that you, know, they, you probably had the wood on them for the last year and a half? Oh, that'll be no doubt mo motivation for Hawthorne. We understand that. Um, but we've got our own motivations too, what we want to achieve this year. So that's why I said it's going to be a really tough game, I'm sure. Is it still a special game for you, coming from against Thorpe's? Um, uh, I'm not sure I've ever said it was a special game. Um, it's, a, it's a game against a club that I worked at, I guess. So in that way, the first time I reckon uh, 
we fronted up against them a few years back. It felt a little bit different, but from that day forward, it's just felt like it's another game of football against another team. And, and uh, you know, there's four points up for grabs and you're trying your level best to, to get those four points. What about going back to Tassie? Is that special for you, mate? Oh, I like going back to Tassie because I get to see mum and dad and a few family uh, members, which is always good because uh, living up here, you don't get to do that all that often. Um, and obviously a few familiar faces. I, I lived down there for the first 36 of my, years of my life, so I know quite a few people down there, so it's always uh, a bit of fun to run into them. Just back on Harris, why do you think you have won five of six? It seems like an unusual stat for probably a guy that's your best player, one of your best players. Um, uh, I have no idea other than that we've got, we've got players that play in that position that's, that can do it pretty well, that can take his place. And, uh, you know, it's Josh Walker this week, but it could have been Jack Payne, um, Matty Eagles, all those guys have been playing pretty well as key defenders. So, uh, you know, Harris is a, a unique player and he's having a great season, but, um, you know, Josh Walker's ability to play that role is very strong as well. Are you really excited about the next month of football? I mean, you've got this game and then I think it's three in a row at home, so... Yeah, we're just trying to enjoy each and every game as it comes along and, and, and do our best. Um, it's great to to be, um, you know, in, in the contest for final spots at this time of the year. Everyone's highly motivated and it, it is a great time to be around. It's good that our players are, are going through that experience. Okay. Sorry, Harris seemed a bit obviously disappointed with the Tribune outcome. Have you had to have a word to him or anything like that or are you not worried about it? No, not at all. Uh, he, look, uh, I understand why he got a week. Um, if you know Harris Andrews, that was an accident. It was, there's a lot of blocking that goes on uh, in marking contests in opposition forward lines when the ball's 50 metres away. So he was, he was at a, in a situation where he was on high alert. Uh, a player came in to block him. He uh, took action to try and stop that block and to be able to stay on, on Brown. Uh, unfortunately, he got that player high and uh, the, the tribunal judged that he, he deserved a week. But, but there's no... Harris Andrews is one of the most disciplined players you will ever meet and fairest players you will ever meet, which is the reason why I went over to see if the guy was all right after the incident. But was it deliberate? No, it wasn't. It was an accident, but unfortunately he pays a price for it. Is, is it almost a, a sign of his integrity that I think his own evidence probably weighed against him in that tri tribunal, that he was too honest? Some players might have... Might not have told the truth, but his own what, what he said ended up costing him, possibly? Oh, I, I think he said that because he... he his explanation of it all prior to it was was based around the fact that he was it was an urgent situation and he was trying to keep his match up, which we coach our, our defenders to do all the time. And and uh, he knew he made contact, but he just wanted to make sure the guy was all right. So he he told what happened. What else can you do? You can't lie about it. You can you can only tell the truth. But but I know the person that he is. That was a complete accident. And just lastly, Fags Darcy Gardner's hundredth game down in Tassie this weekend. Can you give us a bit of insight into what he brings to this club? Yeah, Darcy's um, probably one of the most popular players at our club for the way that he goes about his football. Uh, he's a tough, honest competitor who makes his opposition earn every kick. Uh, he's brave, courageous, a great team man. Um, you know, it'll be it'll be a big motivation for our group this week to uh, go down there and honour him on, on his hundredth game. Um, you know. We talk about the trademark that we want to represent as a playing group. Uh, he's the epitome of it. So, uh, um, yeah, I'm hoping for his sake that we can we can play our best footy.